I am Sandy Soto. I am an EFL professor at Universidad Técnica de Machala. I am also the coordinator of ALT Innovators Research Group, which is sponsored by the same university. In this video, I am going to present the topic, how does explaining content through videos benefit language learners? ESP students, tell us about it. Okay, the authors of these works are me, Sandy Soto, Ligia Fernandez Pinoza, Estefania Vargas Caicedo, Marisela Cajamarca Illescas, Tomás Fontaines Ruiz, and David Carrera. Well, let's start uh, with a brief introduction about what technology means, since we're, we're going to be talking about technology, what technology means to uh, learning uh, a foreign language. Okay, so technology has opened up many opportunities for innovative and rich methodologies that allow teachers to do both, motivating students and improving their learning. According to authors like Ryle and Becker 2008, tools such as videos and blogs are being used inside a classroom and also as part of uh, class assignments of students. The wise use of these tools can lead to can lead uh, the engagement of students in creative activities and significant learning. Well, we can say that using videos has many advantages. For instance, um, the participation of students in speaking activities increases as they feel more confident when speaking. Also, vocabulary acquisition is enhanced since the students have to investigate and prepare for their performance. Well, after uh, having said all this introduction, um, it's a, I'm going to mention the objective of this work, so which is to analyze English for specific purposes, uh, students' perspectives towards the recording of videos as a means to explain class content. So for doing this work, the methodology um, that we applied um, was well, let's start explaining about the participants that we consider for this study. Okay, uh, we administered a questionnaire to 75 uh, students who were enrolled in the Technical English 1 and Technical English 2 courses at a public university in Ecuador. Okay, 46 of these students were enrolled in Technical English 1 and 29 in Technical English 2. These students uh, had uh, developed uh, one video per week for over, over 10 weeks. In the videos, the students explained the content that they had studied during the previous week. Uh, one of the criteria that we considered for the, for the selection of the students, of the participants, was that they, uh, these students had to have um, developed at least six videos throughout the process, okay? Uh, let's remember that they had to make um, uh, 10 videos because they did it for 10 weeks. So the ones who did, uh, who developed at least six were selected for this study. Okay, um, the pa participants uh, completed a questionnaire. We administered a questionnaire to them. This questionnaire consisted of a 26 uh, Likert scale item. It consisted of 26 Likert scale items in the questionnaires, the students had to report the level of agreement in relation to the 26 items. Okay, for the analysis of the data, we conducted a factorial analysis of main components with Bodymax rotation system. For doing this, we used uh, the SPSS statistical software version 22.0. Okay, the participants' perceptions were grouped into four factors, which explain 63.78% of the variance. This is part of the results that we got from the analysis of the data that we collected in the study. Okay, the first factor, the, of the first of the four factors that we found is motivation in academic achievement. This factor was composed composed by answers that indicated that the students' uh, desire to participate in class had increased, their learning experience had improved, and their motivation towards learning English as well as their grades had increased also, among others, okay? Um, 
participants also reported a high impact in this factor. Participants reported a high impact in this factor. That is why this is considered the main factors uh, of the list of the four, the four factors. Okay. The other factors dealt with the development of personal self-regulation, uh, self-regulation regula strategies. Uh, self-awareness of their learning progress and environmental safe-regulated uh, strategies. In the last one, uh, we saw that the participants search for help of more knowledgeable peers in order to uh, being able to do the activities that they were supposed to do. Okay, so let's move on. This is all about the results. Let's move on to the conclusions of the work. Based on the conclusions, where we can say, based on the previous uh, uh, data, we can say that um, by explaining content through videos, participants' motivation and academic achievement uh, have improved. Uh, the participants have developed personal self-regulated strategies, self-awareness of their learning progress, and environmental self-regulated uh, self-regulated strategies. Uh, this indicates, um, from the perspective of the students, a positive impact on this of the strategy in their language learning progress. Okay, so this is all uh, for this the explanation of this topic. And on behalf of Universidad Técnica de Machala, ELT Innovators Research Group, ICANN Regional University, Universidad Nacional de Educación, Universidad de Guayaquil, Unidad Educativa Particular Bilingüe Principito, en Marcela de, de Win. Um, we, uh, I, I would like to say thank you for your attention and for taking some time for uh, listening to our presentation and the results of our study. Thank you so much.